Hi, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Clay Anderson. I'm coming to you from uh, uh, Sioux Falls, South Dakota. I've got a business by the name of successbytakingaction.com. And uh, it's an online business that also uh, offers services for online and offline. And uh, today, <clears throat> online attraction uh, for your restaurant is the topic of our discussion. And what I'd like to start out with is uh, maybe a little background on me. Uh, for 25 years or so, I was in financial services between insurance and investments and mortgages and uh, had the opportunity to start a restaurant. Basically, it was a coffee shop that has served food and um, we made a lot of our own food and we also brokered it or whatever. But uh, the idea that, uh, that I really enjoyed, <clears throat> I actually got it from Stu when I asked him, I said, okay, I'm about ready to open the doors. What do I need to concentrate? What's that? You know, what's my goal? What's my focal point? And he said, create the experience. And so for five years, my goal was to not only satisfy, but exceed expectations for the customers to, uh, in a coffee shop, you've got a very laid back thing so that I was able to really go car blanche, you know, whatever I wanted to do. And since we, it wasn't a franchise, it was just a, a thing that I started with my two sisters and brother. Um, uh, basically we wrote the roadmap and, um, uh, what I'd like to share with you today, <clears throat> start off anyway, is the first question of what is your competitive advantage? What is that that your restaurant does better than anybody else? Or what is that that one thing I should say? What's that one thing that you think that you need to succeed? Okay, that one question. Let me just give me answers. I wait a couple seconds, find out your answer. It's starving customers, isn't it? Actually, starving customers is the number one thing every, every restaurant needs. Okay, they don't have to be starving, but they have to eat. We all have to eat. So that's that's really the, the, the first focal point that I think you would agree that we have to start with. One of the other things is, <clears throat> I believe, at least on the online side, on the online side of business, we, we need the know, like, and trust. And I got to say that that's exactly the same for the restaurant and the offline business. The know, like, and trust. To know, to know is uh, they know your menu. They know what kind of food you serve. They know your location. They know how close you are in their neighborhood. The experience that they have and share with your employees is big, and along with your your own re relationship with your customers. So they want to know you, and they like you because, well, they like the owner. Your foods fit within their budget. That's the type of food that they want to eat at that price, and it's good, okay? Simple. The trust comes from the people and the relationships within that business. So what I want to do is go back and find out what it takes when you look at your business for people to come back. It's because you have good food, you have good service, and you have great prices. You know, for those things, you create that experience for people. That experience is going to give you repeat customers. They're going to come back. They're going to refer and tell others about you. And ultimately, they're going to keep an ear to your business because they experience it. They spend their money at your at your restaurant. So for that reason, they're going to follow you to some degree. So what I want to do is transition over onto the online side of things. I said earlier, both, both sides of the business are on the know, like, and trust side of things. Well, it's so much more important on an online relationship that you create that because people want to do business with people that they know, like, and trust. Okay, that's kind of the glue. You know, you have a food in between the server and your customer's appetite. Your food is what they um, ultimately get. Okay, on the online side, you're creating a relationship. Maybe for the first time, uh, and may, many of you perhaps have your own websites. But if it's a simple site, do you have an email opt-in? Okay, that's that's number one. Okay, the simple site. Um, Many of you, how many people have websites for their restaurants now? Okay. Would you classify it as a web 1.0 or just to define that a web 1.0 is much like your menu. It maybe has a picture of you and your, in the outside of your restaurant, maybe a Google map, maybe a, a, a listing of all the foods and, and a couple of pictures of the different foods that you serve. Okay. Web 1.0 is where people can go to. They have to go to your website and you see that and they have to go looking and searching for you. So once they find out, hey, I want to check out that restaurant, then they go Google it or whatever, 
Google, 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 which actually makes up 86% of the searches today. And uh, based on that, you've got that presence. Now, if you've got a Web 2.0, there's a little bit more interaction. And that's really where I'm going, okay? Because the attraction formula is people want to be around like-minded people. People want to eat around people that, or the type of foods that they like, okay? And a lot of times you'll find that your friends like to eat out at certain places or your friends like things that you like. So building a hungry uh, list of customers from this email opt-in, maybe you're doing that already, but I would suggest that that is the most important asset your business can create today. Okay? Now, what is that one customer? Man, many of you have done your matrixes to decide what that one customer is worth. Okay? A buying customer online is usually worth about $15 to the average uh, individual. Okay? So if you have customers that are on your mailing list that are current buyers of your products, that is the best opportunity to succeed. Why? Well, if you've built a relationship with them at the business, they're going to come back. And there are two other things that I want to share with you today that are big household names. And just to explain the two, what I want to say is Facebook is a presence where Twitter is a tweet. One has stability and here's the kind of the ongoing program. And with that, you're able to send invitations out. People, you know, you can send an invitation, hey, join our website. You can share customers, friends, when they say, hey, check out this restaurant, and you can send a like to their friends. There's all kinds of ways that you can tag that you can automatically put on autopilot for these customers and your customers' friends to, to check out your business. Now, the events to the masses or a fan page also comes with Facebook. You're able to create different different exposure of your events, okay? Normally, if you pr promote an event, you've got something up in your uh, in your front area where your, your tail is or your, your cash register or your front window. Maybe you put an ad out in the paper. Maybe you do a slice of the uh, some sort of uh, organized magazine, etc. okay? Well, now you can control that. So when you spend your money like that, I'm not saying don't do it. I'm just saying when you send your spend your money out there, it's very difficult to see the impact of that. Now, you may see the people coming in using that coupon that you had in the paper, but, you know, that's just something to think about. Because one of the other things I think people freak out about is the fact that if I'm sending an email out and you don't, you know, maybe you feel that you don't want to, you know, get in their way. Well, what are you doing with radio, TV, and, 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 uh, and print? Somebody doesn't want to do it. They just glance on it and they go on with their lives. Hey, folks, that's the way the Internet market business is today. All right. So don't feel intimidated like you're intruding. Give them something that they want, because after all, if you do that, they're going to welcome any invitation that you have to them. The other thing is Twitter. Now, twi Twitter is only 140 characters. So if you typed out 140, that's all you've got. OK, so it's a quick message. OK, one of the main things I really I just love about online on marketing, you know, you can push out or you can pull in. The push out is when your business decides to do a traditional advertising, it's going to push that out there and see what it goes. It's kind of a shotgun all the way out there. Well, the pull into, I would suggest to you, is targeted rifled traffic, traffic to not only your customers, but your friends of your customers. The high quality customer base is going to be phenomenal if you execute on this and ask for retweets. What you do is you send out a, say you send out a, a special evening that you've got planned for a certain dish and that you decide that if you, um, you know, it's a two for one. And uh, as long as you bring somebody that you retweeted, you know, send it up for your retweets. Oh, you know, we're going to stop the, uh, we'll stop the, the invitations at 200. Okay. And let's say that somebody retweets and from that retweet, they go to a website that basically is a download and you can, you can determine or, or just email for that matter. And that's even probably better <clears throat> where you email uh, sign up for the coupon. Give them a little effort to get a benefit out of that. And they're going to meet their friends at your, your place. And not only that is that where Facebook is more of a presence and people, uh, you know, will go to that. 
the other thing to look at uh, Facebook is the fact that, you know, the average time spent on a website, like a social, a social network like Facebook, is, uh, <clears throat> I, I'm not really sure what it is right now, maybe it's a purchase of 45 minutes a day, checking out their fan pages or, or people on their Facebook, okay? So in today's economy, you want to have as much face time as you can. These guys spend more time on Facebook than they do eating at your restaurant, okay? So building the list of hungry customers is re really what I really wanted to point everybody to. This way, you can share your personalities, okay? You can have a real relationship when you shoot something out. You don't have to be salesy. You can be just the way you are. Because for that reason, it's why started, people started coming in in the first place, didn't they? And ask this way, you're able to ask for direct feedback or people have questions about different things. And you can answer questions, which is the biggest benefit of all. If people want to, if you want to send out a survey or if you want to send out a question on, would you guys rather have this or that? This is awesome because then you can turn around and give that feedback right away. It also gives you an opportunity to send your own coupons. So the money that you spend, you know, in traditional advertising, you can you can spend with an online approach uh, that would allow you to, you know, basically build a coupon or some way or just an email out saying, you know, give it. This is the password. And next thing you know, maybe somebody retweets the password, and you make it kind of a, you know, fun uh, guerrilla marketed type of deal. That if somebody says guerrilla marketing, uh, next thing you know, they come in and that's 10% off or 20% off their bill. You know, um, or the first beers on the house. You know, something fun. Uh, we we really need to get that fun back. And I think that's what what most people are going to realize that when they they focus on creating that same environment that they had when they first started in business. And I think you would all probably agree that those days were really fun. And to attract business, you need to be the same personality that you are in front of people. Okay? Because people like that, you know, for, for whatever reason, you were successful in the beginning. People still like that. And you notice the colors are kind of, I'm a Vikings fan. so And, and a fan of uh, Restaurants Rock, for that matter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be quiet. If you guys have any questions that you'd like me to answer, I'll try and do my best to answer those. If not, we've got uh, three minutes for those, and uh, then we'll be changing off the guard for the next presentation. Thanks, and have a great day.